Joe and Max head to the Midwest to Stern Pinball in Melrose Park, Illinois, where they'll give spin to a factory of full tilt fun. In partnership with Maxwell House, this is made right here. If we didn't make pinball machine, the world would uh, would exist, but a little bit of the fabric of life would be gone. We just, we sell fun. We that's what we make. I tell you, the other day I was at the movies and I saw somebody playing a Rolling Stones pinball machine, and I was like, I made that. That was really cool. We start by saying, you know, we we have to create the most compelling, the most fun pinball machine we know how to make. I, I love coming here every day to make these games. So George, how many pinball manufacturers are there in the United States? Well, we're, we're the only uh, manufacturer, the largest manufacturer of commercial pinball machines. Until recently, we were the only manufacturer. You know, a pinball machine is made up of so many different parts. So on, on the right side here, you've got the playfield line. On the left side here, you've got the cabinet line. But if you think about all of the componentry, all of these components come together right here. So the cabinets are coming together on this side and they're being fed from the work cells over there. And on this side, the components that are coming out of the sub-assembly areas are being fed into the assembly line. And, and these folks put them all together. At some point, the play fields get flipped. They work on the front side of the play field. Wow. So it's a lot of stuff. This is the first time the play fields essentially get brought to life. Powered up. They get powered up. You can see the rotisserie. See how she's turning it, you know, from one side to the other so she can work both sides of the play field. It's just come off the assembly line. That's fresh this morning. That's right. It's got that fresh smell. That's right. Oh. Right here, we're in a sub-assembly area. You guys are going to help us assemble the vengeance. Well, what's this called? So that's an engine nacelle. Engine nacelle? Yep, that's Star Trek terminology. Gotcha. Make, make sure, hey, make sure you show him which hole to put that in. <laughs> yeah, see, she's gonna pull it out. Look, look. <laughs> There's a foot pedal. I don't know if my boot's gonna fit in here. Looks good? Yeah. Is that okay? I don't think there's an easy job here. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Hold on, wait. Hold on, no. wait. Oh, yeah. He likes to keep going, even though you said, just wait. No. Okay. This is where I get sprayed in the now, face. Yeah. Now we're going to yeah. apply soap and water. Yeah. Yeah. Max, you're way off. I was way off. There's a little bit of Is this, are you going to pop this decal off and do another one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not going to let this go? No, no, no. No? No. So, a lot of moving parts, a lot of know-how and a lot of people. Absolutely. In this company, there's a tremendous legacy of knowledge about pinball. There's um, a lot of what we call tribal knowledge, you know, of how we do things, why we do things. And of, and of skills being passed. When you talk about the tribal mentality, it's the skills being passed Absolutely. back and forth between people. Absolutely. Some of these people have been here since Gary started the business. I've been in the pinball business, or next to it, since I was two years old. My father having started as a game operator and becoming a pinball manufacturer when I was two. So it's been, it's been uh, now 67 years. You want to talk about like not a lot of turnover? We've got guys that have been working in the pinball industry for like 40 years. Everybody here is so passionate about what they do. From the designers to the art guys, to software, engineering. And there's such a wealth of experience that you just can't find at another job. Guys like John Borg and Steve Ritchie, John Trudeau, are guys with amazing histories. I've been in the pinball business uh, for 36 years as of today. It's uh, still as exciting as it was 36 years ago. I'm proud as an American to look and see that, uh, you know, there's a company here in, in Chicago taking pride in the, the machine they're making and shipping it, I mean, literally around the world. You know, you hear all sorts of stories about jobs going overseas, and it warms my heart every day to come in here and see hundreds of people working. It's good for America because we're American manufacturers. Even as other companies went offshore, we're providing work in here for a couple hundred people, but our extended community uh, manufacturers in the Chicagoland area, there's thousands of people working in our pinball machines and parts there for it. 
When I first started, uh, Jim Belt kind of asked me, like, do you know what you're getting into when you're starting here at Stern Pinball? And it's true, you know, everybody just loves what they do so much. I mean, how can you not? That the pinball machine was invented effectively by Gary's father and his forebears, and that Gary has now handed it on to guys like Jack, that's the whole, that's the whole story right there. That's made right here. Stern Pinball. Made right here. Melrose Park, Illinois. In partnership with Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. For more episodes of Made Right Here, go to maxwellhouse.com slash made right here.